Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be going through a problem from the 2021 AMC 10 and 12b. It states that the point P A comma B in the XY plane is first rotated counterclockwise by 90 degrees around the point 1 comma 5 and then reflected about the line y equals negative x. And we're told that the image of P after these transformations is negative 6 comma 3. And we're trying to find our point B minus A. So what we want to do in this case is realize that working forwards is pretty difficult when we don't know what the point is. So what we want to do is work backwards. We know that our end point is negative 6, 3, so we can go ahead and put that on our graph. Now we know that it was reflected over the line y equals negative x to get the, to this point, so all we have to do to find the point right before this is reflect about the line again. When we reflect about this line, we get negative 3, comma 6. So when you're reflecting about a line, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is notice that the change in the x and the y is going to be opposite. So in this case, we switched our coordinates because we we're reflecting over the line y equals negative x. Now what we want to do is work backwards from our rotation. We are told that a point was rotated about the point 1 comma 5 to get to negative 3 comma 6. And all we have to do is now rotate 90 degrees but clockwise and we'll see that and that will be our point AB. So in this case what you want to do is look at the difference in your x-coordinates. The difference in our x-coordinates is 4 in this case. And when you have a difference of 4, when you rotate counter, when you rotate 90 degrees, that difference in x-coordinates is going to going to change to a difference in y-coordinates. So our y-coordinate, which is b, is going to be 5 plus 4, which is 9. Similarly, we look at the difference in the y-coordinates between negative 3, 6 and 1, 5, and we'll see that that's 1. And that's going to be our difference in x-coordinates once we rotate. So we have our a is equal to 1 plus 1, which is 2. So our point is 2, 9. And in this problem, another way to get this point is to maybe draw it on graph paper or draw an accurate graph, and you'll see that your reflected point is 2, 9. But this is the way that I like to do it. And now all we have to do is find b minus a. That's 9 minus 2, which is 7. And that's d, so our answer is going to be d for this problem. And what you want to do in this case is maybe work forward, so you can look at the point 2, 9, and then reflect at 90 degrees counterclockwise around the point 1, 5, and then reflect and see, make sure that you end up with negative 6, 3. So let's try doing this just to verify that our answer is correct. So we start off with the point 2, 9. That's right here. And we want to rotate it 90 degrees about the point 1, 5. And we're rotating counterclockwise. So our difference in y coordinates is going to become our difference in x coordinates, so 9 minus 5. Our point is going to translate to 1 minus 4, which is negative 3. So our x coordinate is negative 3. And then our difference in x coordinates here, which is 2 minus 1, is going to be our difference in our new point. So that's 5 plus 1, which is 6. So our point is negative 3 comma 6. So far, everything is correct. Then we move on. Sorry, it seems that I am cutting this off a little bit, so let me scroll up. So we did, we saw that 1 minus 4 was negative 3, and 2 minus 1 was 1, and we did 5 plus 1 is 6, so that's why our second part of our point is 6. Then we're going to reflect about the y equals negative x-axis. So all we have to do is plug our point in, and we'll see that the reflection is negative 6, 3. So everything that we did was correct, and our answer is the point 2 comma 9 and because we're looking for the difference our answer is 7. So doing just a quick check on these problems can be really helpful in avoiding a silly mistake which I know can hurt a lot of people in these tests. So just knowing the tricks for reflection and rotation can be really helpful and that'll help you do this problem quickly. So if you aren't familiar with those I recommend you learn them. Thanks for watching, hope you liked the video.